that, uh, you know, it, as with any RPG character, much is conveyed in significant glances. And you see her reading you up and down, and it's clear that one way to get uh, attention off of Serafima would be to throw yourself under the bus. Okay. And, like, you see that she has a file out, and it, like, is just listing the horrible combat toll that your unit has inflicted and the fact that you're going through planes over and over again. Yep. And <laughs> maybe it's actually, like, a, a regimental squadron ranking, and you guys are at the bottom of the ranking list for being, like, the most turnover of everything. I'd like to also point out we have not had one failed mission yet. That's true. That's true. So, and yeah. yet, the NKVD is, is not looking for results, but for traitors. That's true. All right, fair enough. You want results, you talk to a general in the air army. You want traitors, you talk to the NKVD. Okay. Um, before uh, Serafima goes off with um, Captain, uh, Captain Olga Berskova, um, I give her a glance and give her a nod, um, and signaling that uh, it's okay. Whatever has to be done. Yeah, uh, I try to Tatiana steal my result. Will, will weather the, the storm. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so, Junior Lieutenant Demidov, you enter Bersukova's private office, and her expression was somewhat jovial. Now it's like. Junior Lieutenant Demidov, I see you're here again. I gave you 24 hours to prepare for this interview, and in that time you have managed to... And she's, like, looking through the paperwork. It says here you... I'm, like, standing, like, at attention, right? And then she starts listing. Yeah. You failed to destroy any target of interest besides a single motorcycle. You were captured by the Germans and then beaten, as was your airwoman. And you return to base? Well, at least you came back in one piece. What do you have to say for yourself? If you lie, you have to roll with one stat, and if you tell the truth, you roll with another stat. Fortunately, it's the same stat for him, I think. Um, <clears throat> You'd have to be a dreamer. Uh, yeah, I think maybe I... um. I say, I say uh, you know, that... Um, I'm like, uh, when when we were making bombing run, I was filled with with lust for blood of Germans and lost sight of of the last parameters of the mission, perhaps, and and threw some fire. It was it was unfortunate, but all in the service of Mother Russia. I seek uh, only to do the very best service I can provide as a pilot, which is not carrying bombs around just to burn gas but to deliver them upon the the enemy soldiers okay can you roll uh plus guts Where's my... shit my rolls are fucking shit today. fortunately for you tatiana gave you a plus one bonus with her eyeball oh, oh yes yes <laughs> let's have it that magic one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get to choose. You can incriminate a family member or a comrade you have positive regard for. I don't know that you have a regard slot open. Mm -mm. So you would have to incriminate a family member. You can agree to frame the target of their current investigation. I get to choose who it really is. Or you and the comrade of your choice are marked. Um. Tell me what I want to know. Be like, <laughs> so I break down right then. I'm like, my mother, she was informant. Oh, I wish you had never been born. And da da da. And I like just break down into like. She's uh, like, I already know about this. Your mother was assassinated by the government. You can't like, give me someone who's already dead. And I say, and then I say, there's no way my father could have not known. She smiles and, I just, like, and rubs her hands together. And she's like, yes, excellent. 
Thank you for your time, Junior Lieutenant Demidov. And what? I have, like, snot and tears, like, all in my, like, lady mustache. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like, while you're crying, she's rubbing her hands together yeah. and laughing. Um, What's your father's name? Uh, Soon to be dead. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, let's see. Let's just say, say his name is, like, Fedimov. Okay. And where does he live? Um, let's see, uh, I think he was, he was, like, still serving, so he would be at an army base. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, we know you guys are going to be out of action for two days while they tow your plane back, and you guys rest up. And so, like, we get, uh, a little tag at the bottom of the screen as the screen fades to black, and it says two days later. And there's, like, an infantry troop that's going through, like, practice bayonetting, like, <laughs> German dummies. And someone says, like, Demidov, Firmov, fall out of line. And we see that it's Captain Olgai Barsukova. And he's like, yes, <coughs> of course, Captain, what do you need from me? And she says, oh, come with me, come with me. We have a hotel for you in Siberia. It's going to be a permanent stay. He's like, yes, yes, I would love to get off the front lines. And she's like, don't worry, you'll be off the front lines forever. And then handcuffs him from behind. And two soldiers come out from, like, behind the shadows and, like, lift him up and frog march him away. And he's screaming. He's like, no, I didn't do it. Whatever it is, I didn't do it. Who told you? Who's a... And then she's like, your daughter told us. <sighs> His <laughs> face goes bitch. completely pale. And then it fades out again two days earlier. Bam. We're back. Uh, before you leave the office, Seraphima, did you perhaps want to criticize a fellow airwoman? Yes. Is there anyone you would like to criticize? Yes. Is there anyone you'd like yeah. to criticize? You know, like... for mission pools. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's for the pool. greater good of the fucking Russian army. Choose <laughs> <laughs> <Just> carefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I... I um... I think I I I don't uh I don't like um openly say anything but I'll just start like cursing uh junior lieutenant Petrovna like be like Petrovna why 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 oh and like I'm like snot and like mumbling and I don't really say anything but she just gets the the name and like me you know like I'm just. Uh, oh, that's a little weak now. Yeah, that's not. That's really a little well, weak. All right. Well, if Come he doesn't want to call, uh, it, no, that's fine. fine. That's fine. That's all I'd have. I'm in. good. I'm good with that. Okay. I I got some uh, oranges, new black shit lined up for you. <laughs> oh, oh, goody. Uh, you know, know what your Nafina fought it in the literally plane saved the you from hanging, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, uh so Katya. You were gonna name a plane, right? Yeah. Let's talk about I that. Was, I hey, was going to name it the el, tail number eleven and give it a personality. Yes. Is that not already and... have one? Nope. Oh, no, wow. Not eleven, actually. No. Apparently, really? I did not. Yeah, tell me. I found the personality and then I lost the page. It was. Uh... <clears throat> I was going to knit. I was thinking about going with something like uh, Lady Luck or something like that. Okay. And, uh, That's going to those... fall through in an awful hurry if any of us <laughs> actually have to roll luck. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. It's, it's... Personality is lucky, right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it doesn't say anything about good or bad luck, but lucky it is. Yep. Okay. All right. So. Let me get somebody to paint a nice uh, Soviet air woman who's rolling dice on the side. Or something like that. <laughs> yeah, she's got like big strong arms like Rosie the Riveter. Yeah. 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 She's like the Russian version of that. Mm hmm. Yeah. Instead of a do rag, she's just got like. I don't know. What's a. Like it's. The, what's that Russian hat you wear all the time? Oh, uh, the Ushanka. Yeah. Yeah, she's got a Ushanka. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, will you guys go to sit down and eat? 
And uh, today, kitchen duty was done by the regimental armorers. You know, the repair crews. Mm. And uh, they serve no food to Junior Lieutenant Demidov. They, mm. they put a tree branch on her plate. Um, I think I'm going to act up like oh, a man. Shit. Like a man? Like, like a, a man? hooligan? Yeah. Like a hooligan. Okay, how? What are you trying to do? Plate flip. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you trying to do? What am I trying to do? I'm uh. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to to um. I think. I'm gonna you can try plate to flip intimidate. If you want. Yeah. What is then what is it you want? Then I want do? my food, so I flip the plate, and I'm like, try again, asshole. Okay. You want me flying at night? You need to be feeding my stomach. All right. I like it. That's great. Yeah, that's perfect. All right. So, uh, roll plus select. Uh, yeah. Oh, I think sucks. the obvious retort is they don't want you flying at night because you keep bringing home broken planes. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Boom! Okay, you Damn. get to choose two. You can make someone do what you want, ensure there are no consequences, or add one to the mission pool. I will remind you that the, you don't have a mission for three days, so... So it's pointless to get yeah, a mission. Yeah, you get nothing. Okay, yeah, so I get, I get my, my uh, like, a double serving, and uh, and, not, and they don't say no shit about me. Yeah, you scare the fuck out of them. <laughs> like, yeah, would you kindly give me my food? Kale, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Excellent, awesome. What about the rest of you? What are you doing with your time off? Um... Arthur, what is the best male pilot? Of what? Bombers yeah. or attack craft? Mm. The highest ranking male aircraft officer is Air Marshal Zhukov in Moscow. Uh, who is the one that goes into the most danger? Uh, probably Captain Galunov. Who, is he like people. local? Yes. Okay, yes. so... I, right. I know him uh, <clears throat> in more than one way. Sasha oh. knew him too. Okay. Um, give you his number. Is there is there anyone else? Yeah, there's Captain. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Major D.D. Popov. <laughs> he's someone attractive, obviously. Uh, <laughs> then you want Galunov. Galunov, but he's like. There's he's also, attractive. if you are okay with sleeping with infantrymen, there's also Death Sergeant Boris Fedlateral. No, it needs to. It needs to be an airman. Okay. And be, okay, so the, the my character has a um, obsession. Has a with fetish for airmen, planes and stuff. Um, <laughs> okay. And it's not. I'm not gonna like sleep with him now. If that makes sense, I'm just gonna try and foster a relationship. Okay. Like naturally. So I'm not and gonna what, like force how, it on anyone. How are but. you? How are you doing this? You're gonna spend time going over to their air barracks. Yeah, I'm gonna reach out to him. Oh, okay. Are you doing it by a letter or by in person? Uh, let's go by. Do you like me? Check yes or no. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> so, what would be the most? What would yeah. be the? the uh. So, if I go over there in person, is that considered like a taboo? Like, what's going on there? No, I mean it'd be unusual, but it happens all the time. So. Okay. Maybe I see him, like, I go over there and I see him working on the plane, and that's how I meet him for the first time. Because I'm not specifically going out of my way to All right, plane. so here's, what, here's, here's the setting. He's okay. literally got a gigantic wrench, and his, like, uniform is all unbuttoned and pulled back, so he's, like, wearing it around his waist. He's got his huge Russian muscles. He's sweating. There's a bunch of other dudes around him all just, like... It's a TV show, so like they're randomly lifting things, but not actually doing anything. <laughs> all showing off their giant Russian muscles. Yeah. yeah. So they're not like like one guy will walk past the camera and then he'll walk past again with the same bar like thirty seconds yeah. later. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a bar with big big black dumbbells, like the old school. You're like, yeah. What's he so doing? What, what type of planes do they fly? Oh, uh, they fly uh, better planes than you. Yeah, but what what are like they? Like metal ones, fancy metal. <laughs> yeah, they they fly bombers. I just I don't remember what the uh, fancy Russian bomber. The, the I, IL twos. Have they got them yet? Yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. 
So they're the Isles, the Isle 2s then? Yeah, yeah. Isle 2 Sturmovik. Alright, I'll, I'll walk up and maybe I don't actually see what he looks like yet and I'm just like, Oh my god, is that an Isle 2? He turns around and gives you a smile and his wavy hairs. <laughs> yeah, he down. like pulls off his do-rag and it's like the fucking... It's like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You can hear the ocean in his hair. You're like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. He puts his wrench up on his shoulder and says, Yeah, it's IO2. How are you doing? Didn't I see you at the award ceremony last night? Uh, and and I, I, like, sort of run past him and I start, like, pointing out all the stuff on the plane and, like, you know, pointing to the things and asking him about it. Not really. Yeah, so, like, you're bending over the plane and he's just, like, talking to you, but he's just staring at your butt the whole time and yeah. talking to you yeah but the I'm dudes like in the background anything. still just lifting stuff <laughs> moving yeah. <laughs> yeah. and uh yeah so basically i'm just uh in my eyes i'm just sort of talking the shit with him you know talking about planes and being all excited about the planes and stuff um at some point you have to reveal a significant new truth uh okay yeah, uh, I think this entire lady. encounter is revealing a lot <laughs> about about Sonia. She's oh yeah, like what? Well, what do you think it's uh, showing? Well, off? like you have a massive thing for airmen at this point. And planes. Well, no, it's more about the planes. It's, the planes. Yeah, fair it's all about that the is, planes. That is a, uh, I yeah. specifically walked over to the hangar to find it, but basically, what I'm trying to do is foster like a relationship with an NPC that's not. Within the the thing, so you know what we talked about. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> so, Whatever. Excuse me, Jesus Christ. Um, so yeah. Uh, mm, so I have to, I have to do it, huh? Yep. As it, maybe maybe I can talk about how um, the only uh, I'm an orphan, right? So maybe I mentioned that my father was a pilot, like a crop duster, and that's why I'm so excited to get into the okay. uh, the PO twos. Um, and I, I, I tell him about um, how my father died in like an accident because he didn't understand much about the how to work the plane, um, but you know he still flew it because you know a job's a job basically, and uh, yeah, that's that's how I lost my father, and that's the that's what I give him. That's like when I took that bus driving job. Like all those poor kids. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you need to roll two d six. Reach 2D6. out. Let's Straight do up. it. Eight. Okay, you get to choose one. What would you like to do? Uh, add one on mission pool. Oh wait, I can't. There's no reason. To. No mission. Um, I'm gonna let you guys hold that mission pool from the debrief. And that'll that'll take place. Okay, uh, I'm gonna remove a harm from someone who's who's harmed. Man, I'm gonna uh, remove it from the other NPC that we have. Okay, you remove yeah. it from Katia. All right, mm -hmm. tell me how. So yeah, Katia shows up. Oh no no, it was Natalia that got harmed, right? So like yeah, Natalia shows up, and she's just like hanging all over Galunov, and she's like, oh Sonia. This was a good, good idea to come down here. Yeah, I really that, like the way. Are amazing. Yeah, she's like, I really like the way things are put together around here. Absolutely. This, I, I, I sort of inter I like do that thing where I'm like, oh, uh, this is, uh, what was her name? Sorry, fuck. She's like, you can just call me the widow. Yeah, this is this is the widow. She's uh, one of the one of the pilots we have in the 588s, and I go back to putting my head inside of the plane, basically. <laughs> looking at the engine still, yeah. Alright, I think we see the two of them, like, walking towards the barracks while you're still talking inside the plane. Yeah, I, like, <laughs> stick my head out, I'm just like... And then Hello? they go on, I'm just like... You <laughs> go back in there, and I start fiddling with the plane. <laughs> seeing what all the knobs and stuff do, so, yeah. Alright, anyone got any other actions they'd like to do this day? Um, so can I, so we have two days of rest, so if we take an action today. Well, so we what's still... going to happen is we're going <clears> to <throat> skip the rest day and everybody's harm is just going to get removed. Okay. Um, and I've already done one. Yeah, I'm not worried about it. Like I said, okay. all harm is going to be Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, the then, uh, Tatiana is going to write a report. Okay. Permanently file it. Um, and she is going to change the established truth about Seraphima's performance in the mission and how she managed to eliminate 
one of the ranking officers, top machine gunners <laughs> of yes. the Hitlerite Not, army. It wasn't uh, random well sunglasses guy. <laughs> a well-placed bomb. Because she has absolutely no idea that Seraphima just sold her out in that mission. Of briefly. course. Yeah, uh, so you, so she's you obviously... you acting against her own self-interest, or yeah. best interests. You took uh, out Major up... uh, Kaiser Soze of yeah. the you Hungarian see, you army. You could literally see his insignia reflected off his glasses when you flew in. <laughs> that's, that's how you knew yeah. Yep. Otherwise, so, it wouldn't um, have been visible. Uh, that, uh, that you was... recognize his face because the Russians issued uh, a deck of playing cards with all the German army officers. Do they have it like pinned up in the barracks where like they have like knives through the ones that've killed or whatever? <laughs> Serafima goes cool. up and crosses up the uh, two of clubs. Yeah, yeah. of course. At the okay, top, uh... we see Hitler. <laughs> He's the Joker. Uh, so that's that just changes the accepted. Story or the yes. accepted by everybody. Yeah, it's accepted the accepted by story every- by the only people that matter, which is high command. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. So but, AKVD but is if, no if, longer on your shit about it. Right. And yeah. if Titania, but Titania would be like, "Oh, you, that that guy you killed was, you know, a ranking officer." Yeah. So I would know this. Yeah. 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 Yes. Uh, she. And then she... you're reading the paper, and you're literally like, "Oh fuck." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're reading Pravda. It shows up. Yeah. Your your war story shows up uh, thanks to Tatiana's uh, official report, which she filed with the uh, high command. Yeah, the article was obviously written by uh, historian Arthur Perkins, <laughs> <laughs> who works James for the Giants. fake fake Russian Pravda. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's such cool. a great reporter. Hey Arthur, there's uh, one thing I'd like to do before. Yes. Uh, well, we well we've got a few days off. Yep. I'm not entirely certain what move this would constitute. Probably reaching out, but that you know only has you know the re- usual ramifications of removing harm, adding to mission pool, and uh, change the target. Regard. But uh, I am. I'll just uh, let you know what I'm trying to accomplish is okay. to, to buck against the boys' club a little bit while we're here. Oh, here we shit. go. Still them panties. Still them panties. Still them no, me. no, 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 no. I'm a. Uh, <laughs> Remember, remember, uh, Kalishnikov is is this uh, sl- slightly different minded than than stealing panties. I, I have a I have a brilliant plan, because every time uh, every time we've gotten we've gotten medals, uh, somebody from the uh, male regiment comes and pins it on on. Often bringing along a bunch of guys and just to be clear, you've gotten us. zero medals. Yeah, what no, you have gotten, gotten any rank medals. ups. Uh, uh, no, yeah, rank uh, when somebody you know gets a promotion anyway, making fun, making fun of us, slapping on us on the ass, that sort of thing. I'd like to try and see how high I can go up and and uh, uh, make make a suggestion of uh, you know since that if this that's the way it's done you know how about next time somebody gets a promotion from the male from the male staff uh, uh, let someone from 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 our 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 side do it you know well how about this how about when they have their ceremony whatever you go and do cat calls during it we I yeah, have we a just, suggestion we just go around grabbing their junk can you <laughs> consider this acting up. By acting as a natural-born Soviet airwoman? Is that what you might think it is? You're like, we should hand out the medals. We, I mean, if they're handing out the medals to us, yeah. uh, we should hand out medals to them. Or, you know, I, or we do it the uh, normal way. We hand out medals to ourselves, they hand out medals to them. You do realize it's that when you hand out these medals, they're going to have special uniforms for you. Of course. That sounds fancy. You come out of a birthday cake, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was intoning. <laughs> so, well, that, uh, it that sounds like you're acting up by acting as a natural-born Soviet airwoman. But that's it, if you have a suggestion as to some other way you're doing that. Because you want to make somebody... I'm not sure who you're talking to, but I'm assuming it's a higher-ranking person. You want to make yeah. them do what you want. Yeah, I want I want to make them, you know, I you know, I either do that and when they say, you know, that sounds ridiculous, then I then I then then I come up with the my my original plan was like, okay, well, how about uh how about when 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 we get medals or promotions, Soviet airwomen 
uh, are the ones ha- handing them out so that we don't get catcalls and slaps and uh, laughs. Well, there has yeah. been women that have given out like the upgrades and stuff. That is, the only people that do it are the people who sleep with a, an officer above them and then they give them the level up because that's how they <laughs> that, advanced. Uh, if that, you that, advance that, like correctly, <laughs> you will probably get like an actual proper officer giving you the right thing. It's not. It's not because you're not doing it. It's because you're advancing in the in a way that isn't like natural for a soldier. This is to this is doing a move, changing the story thing. Like so, you're saying because he did it that way, that's why. Well, that, no, yes, so, so, so uh, exactly. If you sleep with it with an officer to well, get a rank up, then that yeah, officer will gives probably show up. Yeah, the rank. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so well, the thing, that's what thing it is. is for, the thing is for Katya. The only thing she's seen so far is she's received the medal. And yeah, but you the, slept with the person who gave you the. That that the is that is very true, but that doesn't mean that neither doesn't, here nor there. It sounds like you're okay. kind of pissed that, that you're not getting more recognition for sleeping around. So no 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 no. no, no, no. <laughs> I mean, the thing is, I, I've been slept really I, hard. I <laughs> want some no, 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 appreciation. No, no, no. I don't actually uh, like penis look, look that at, much. Let's just point it out there, right? <laughs> but I'm doing it for the let's, Russian let's, army. Let's let's just put it out uh, out there yeah, that from from her point of view. Yeah, she slept with a guy and uh, and got promoted, but she didn't expect him to come and tell everybody about it and so, slap her on the ass. So, so, the thing, like, so, so just to move past this, because we keep having the same discussion, yeah. Yeah. roll 2d6 plus medals. Yeah. Which is zero, because you have no medals. That is true. So you go to high command, you try to... M- okay, yeah, you can make them do what you want. I am. I want. I want Soviet Air Woman to to promote Soviet Air Woman and Soviet Air Woman to to take care of handing out medals to Soviet Air Woman. So I think you probably go to uh, the chief of staff, Captain Evgenia Lobodeva, and she's like, "Okay, I will do what I can to make sure that more Air Women are the ones handing it out." But I have a suggestion for you, Junior Lieutenant. If you want to not be embarrassed during award ceremony, perhaps your squadron should earn their rank ups rather than sleeping their way up. <clears throat> Didn't your own lieutenant try to get LT bars after one training combat mission? <laughs> and she smiles at you. <laughs> that was kind of got her. I, I, I mean, I, I'll make you a deal. I'll tell you what. You start earning your ranks, and we will start sending someone who isn't a complete joke. <laughs> very, very well. If you mu- I'm wondering what the well. consequences of this particular action is going to be. <laughs> <laughs> it should be good. I, I will take your message to heart. I did, I did not sleep with him before the rank. Just so you know, it was just my first combat mission. And he well, says, as he like rips out the page of his diary that literally says that he did do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And eats it like. Oh. <laughs> I mean, Katya, Katya's motivation was that was their first combat mission. She had, she had, she wasn't feeling all that great. And as it but the quite... move that you use literally states that you're doing it to get ranks. <laughs> like you can't say that you're not doing it to do that. Well, you know, that's the experience. <laughs> okay, all right. Is there anything anyone else would like to do on your day off? Uh, is this the second day, or do we have... The, there, the second day, we're going to completely skip. You guys are just going to rest the whole time yeah. and heal two harm. I don't have any harm, though. Okay, but we're doing that because the whole regiment's off. Yep. Because you guys have been bombing like crap. You literally ran like three back-to-back missions. Okay. The plane's being towed in. So, so is there I, anything else you'd like to do before the sun sets? Uh, do I take a harm if I do anything else? Nope, because, again, on the second day, you're going to heal everything. All right, so um, I am going to, um, again, uh, is it like, so how do you make a friend? Like, how, how does that happen? Uh, talk well, to easy. somebody. You be nice to someone, and then yeah. you stab them in the oh, back. Yeah, I mean, like in this game, <laughs> they're literally considered like friends or whatever. Like, you have to get a, a a mark to get a friend. Is that what that is? No. no if you, you get, get a mark, you can make a friend. 
right? Right. So that can be the story you tell, but you can have a friend without taking. So a here's what I imagine happening, right? I'm still at this fucking plane when uh, the guy comes back after yeah. sleeping with Natalia. Yep. And he, yeah. Then I, I will do another reach out, I guess. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Maybe right. this time I come back and I'm like, he comes back and I'm like covered in grease. Oh yeah, that. What significant new truth will you reveal? <laughs> um, that I actually came over here to meet um, male. Um, <laughs> is that really a new truth? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It okay. Is. Like, like my intention here was to to meet um, a male pilot. So. Yeah, like when you say that, he hooks his thumbs into his belt and does that thing where he like places his hands to emphasize his crotch. Yeah. He's like, oh, you came over here to meet the male pilots. Plenty of male pilots around. That guy with the dumbbells walks past in the background again. <laughs> he's, he's been lifting for like 12 hours. He's like, the cameraman oh, no. right here. He's just walking circles around the cameraman the whole time for every seat. You know those movies where you see, all right, the extras only direction was look busy. Yeah. And then in the background, they're just kind of like pretending to talk or like maybe like robotically picking up a cup and then like putting it down over here. There's just some guy that's like in the background. All he's doing is saying ambience, 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 <laughs> ambience, 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 ambience. Peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> peanut butter and jelly. Oh, oh, peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, I see that. Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, uh, the idea here is that... Um, I would like to get closer to... What was his name? Captain Galunov. I'm going to write this down because I'm going to... Captain Ooh, yeah. Galunov. Yeah, so the idea here is that I'm trying to... Because uh, I say to him, and I was like, well, I mean, you know, I, I don't want to be in this war forever, and eventually I do wish to have a family. <laughs> okay, roll your fucking shit. I w it would be amazing if you rolled too low for this one. Yeah, like I came on. He immediately show. turns around and runs away. Yeah. <laughs> right, we go. Yeah, why isn't that way? Oh wait, modify seven. Yeah. Okay, you can choose one. Uh, there's nothing really to choose here. Okay, so. but yeah, you get your point across and and. You know, he, like, gets a towel and starts helping wipe the grease off of you, and he's like, Oh, you came here to meet the male pilots. Well, excellent. Uh, if you ever need any help at all, you know you can come over to our regiment. Uh, we are very friendly over here. We have had a very close relationship with your regiment, and in fact, your squadron in particular. I seem to have good luck with them. Oh, I, yeah, all the girls are really nice over there, from what I can tell. Yes, they are very nice. And you can see he's having flashbacks <laughs> of, like, Sasha and then... Um, Serafima. Katya. Oh, no, sir, and, no, Katya. And, and, uh, Natalia. And Natalia, yeah. <laughs> he's just like... So it's just, like, them on a pillow, just their face, and it's, like, the flashback to that three yeah. times. <laughs> and then you look at the you look at the thought bubble of fucking Sonya, and it's literally, like, a plane 30 in a years in the future, and they're, like, they're, like, like, two children, and she's older, and he's older sort of thing. And it's, like, <laughs> you know, trying to get that family she's never really had because her parents died oh, super man. early. So, like, yeah. And you have a dog. Yep. Yeah, a dog, yeah. Of and his course. name his name is, like... I don't know what's a what's one of the the plane names, meteor. Meteor. Uh, his name is Meteor. Yeah, and it's just like, yeah. So this fucking just basically the two opposites of whatever's happening. So. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Um, okay. Can you t uh, can you spell out his name for me in in Skype or? Uh, G A L U N O V Galunov. Right. Okay, I think we're coming up on a break here. And yeah. uh, when we come back, we're going to have a wrecked plane, which needs to be repaired, and that's going to get your reserve plane. Uh, it's going to take a bit of repairing. And then you, you have to go on a mission, because all harm is healed. All of your mm -hmm. MTC friends are all still alive. Yeah. Thanks to me. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, you know... Thank you for showing up, guys. I really appreciate all the people on the internet that take time from their lives to watch this show, because that's...